Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I wanna to talk to you about Google Documents. And in particular, I wanna show you that AI has come to Google Documents and it is a piece of cake to use. And not only that, it has multiple things you can do inside Google Documents, and there's even a marketplace. I'm gonna show all of this to you in maybe like two minutes or so max. So let's get going. The first step, you wanna to go to labs.google. I will put a link in the description below. When you're on this website, you get a few different options. You can sign up for a bunch of these. They're all waitlisted. But here's the thing, the Google Workspace is the one that you want here. When you click join the waitlist, it is now at the point where it automatically accepts you. The only exceptions are if you're in a very, in like a country like Canada, for example, which happens to be my country, uh, you will be told that you can't join. However, uh, if you are to use something like, I don't know, something that rhymes with EPN, it rhymes with EPN, you can get in just like I've done here. Again, uh, not saying nothing, just do what you need to do. All right, once you've gone ahead and been accepted, and again, it is right away, then go to docs.google.com like I've done here. Links in the description below, of course. I'm gonna click on blank and presto, we are going to be cooking. Now, right away, you're going to see this little pen icon and it says, help me write. That is your AI prompt writer. It is going to help you. I'm just gonna left click on that. And then it says here, whatever you want help with or whatever you want to write about, just type it in. So what is what are we going to go? Um, top five free AI tools of 2023, something like that. Just something nice and random. I'm going to click on create. It's going to do some thinking. And then I'm going to show you a couple of the features that come with it. So here are the five that it gave me. And these make sense. Uh, Open AI gym I haven't tested yet. But whatever, um, that's not the point. The point is it gives you five good cracks at it. If you don't get what you want, you can recreate, which is basically the same as redo. You can also refine it. So if you want it to be, if the wording is too informal, you can formalize it, you can shorten it, you can elaborate it, and you can even rephrase it, the whole thing or in parts. I'm gonna go ahead and hit insert. And there we go. Now it's in the document and it's kind of like basically like chat GPT, but you don't have to <laughs> go into chat GPT and then into your document, so to speak. So I've gone ahead and selected this part here and then I can go over here to the left side and I can again click on this and then it will allow me to do formalize this section. So if I wanted to formalize, shorten, elaborate or rephrase it, maybe I'll hit rephrase just for the kicks. Why not? So there we go. We're taking this little paragraph and we're rephrasing it. Okay. I like the way that's written. I will replace it. It is that simple. There are, There is more, however. Check this out. If you go up here to the top to extensions, you'll also see that you can get add-ons. So what I've done is I've added in something called WriteMate AI Assistant, AI Writing Assistant. And when I use this one here, you can see here that I can do things like rewrite, shorten, expand, continue writing, show synonyms. So if I don't know what a word means, like aforementioned of course i know what it means but if i was to pretend that i didn't know i could just select that word go to my extension go down to show synonyms and watch this it's going to go ahead and cook up on the right side the synonyms for aforementioned it'll take just a quick second here and again this is an add-on script okay suggestions aforementioned previously mentioned above mentioned previously stated previously listed okay yeah not too bad not great uh, you get 10 free credits a day on this apparently but if you want to add if you want to add in things above and beyond you can just go to add-ons get add-ons and then it will open up a marketplace where you can pay for things or you can get free things and again you can scroll through this here but i mean miro if you're into that whiteboarding stuff um, business essentials apps to discover email integration salesforce etc etc ai is in google docs now it is awesome thanks for watching